If you don't know that this is Legacy X, Legacy 10, you must be living under a rock. Everybody in the wrestling world on this side of the Merrimack has their eyes glued to the boob tube. They're waiting for their moment, their hero, to finally, finally conquer the top of the mountain. And I will. I guarantee it. I think it's about time, Vincent Zarello, and anybody else that ever thinks about wrestling and getting the ring with Troy Garbo, they know why I do what I do. It's not for my 1988 Bass Hustle of the Year champion trophy father saying I never could do it. That's not why. It's not for my mother, who always had my back and said, baby, believe and you can do whatever you want. No! I do this for the six, seven, eight-year-old little kid in the front row. He's saying, Garbo, I love you, you're my hero. He can't make it to every show, but he's seen every match, maybe on the computer. When I'm down, he's down, and when I'm hurt, he's hurt. When I'm bleeding, he's bleeding. When I'm winning, he's winning. When I'm shining, he's shining. That little boy's name is Troy Garbo. Who the fuck are you? Let me tell you something right now. There's no way in hell I'm gonna wish you good luck because Captain's my boy. We go way back to 2005. So son, your knees better be knocking. Your nerves better be rocking and you better be scared because you're going up against the best tonight. You're going up against the champion. And you got no chance in hell of walking out here tonight with the WAW Championship. I just want to say one thing to you. And one thing only. That's a cool fucking jacket, man. Yeah, well, you know, my mom made that. Shut up. You know what? You and Captain Vincent Zarello have one thing in common. The strongest, toughest thing about you is your breath. I swear, my mustache just curled. Whew. Jesus. Finish this. Vincent Zarello, tonight it ends. Tonight it's over. My chase, my climb, my dream comes true. And when it does, there will be a whole new era of WAW. The Garbo era. Woo! At least I know who you are. Yeah, I know you know who I am. You know, I picked you to be this referee for one reason. To call it right down the line. I don't want you taking a little ding on your chin and falling down, missing everything. I don't want some lame brain, dirty dealer running out and smashing me or ruining my match. You know what, Rocco? I thought you were a good guy. I thought you were somebody that the crowd would look up to. That stunt you pulled last week, laying me out, I need to know one thing, Rocco. Where do you stand? I know you've known Vincent since fourth grade. You want to know where I stand? I got told what I just told Vincent. I'm going to call it right down the middle. But if you dare touch me like you did last week when you handshake me, I will kick your ass. Okay? Yeah. That's the only rule I have. It's Legacy X. Vincent, get ready. Because you never fuck for your life like you will tonight. Whoa. Ever since I beat Joey Staples at L-O-T-R, and ever since Troy Grody Garbo decides he wants to win Lord of the Ring, I've been thinking, I've been racking my brain. And it should come as no shock that people think I'm more of a talker than I am a fighter. But for once, I was tongue-tied. The only thing I could even remotely think of was when I was in that position last year at Legacy, looking into the eyes of my opponents. But the difference between last year and this year, Troy Garbo, is I'm not looking into my best friends. I'm not looking into fourth grade anymore, Garbo. No, no, no. I know how you feel. And if I were you, I'd be scared too. So I could go on, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this speak for itself. <laughs> Your captain, champion, has spoken. First off, that thing we talked about, no. I'm gonna call it right down the middle and let the better man win. 
Rocco, I got news for you. The better man won last year. It's going to fall one fall, the time of 20 minutes. <laughs> Entry first, your special guest referee, Haley from Salem, Massachusetts. He's the Halloween Hellraiser, Rocco! And the utensil, and the real world is the one I have to deal with every day. Believe me, if I started in every people, well, we are main, it is main event time, and here we have our special guest referee, Rocco, who hopefully can keep a little law and order. Red guy is okay, but he's going to have to take the night rest night off. the sound department having a little bit of fun at our expense but Garbo doesn't mind and it looks familiar for some reason for some reason I have the two words oh yeah coming to you <laughs> Well, Chaz, we know you know about quote-unquote men's men, but this guy, a champion, going to Garbo's home, and Moody Star, what the heck is she, never mind, I don't care, going to the guy's home, attacking him, lighting him on fire, last week, chewing on that leg. Where did he get that bathroom? Where did he get that bathroom? Where did he get that bathroom? 
American Zero up there. And it looks like Moody Star found new work. Okay, Jets, this is for the WAW Championship. In this corner, coming from Mobile, Alabama, he's the good old boy and the Lord of the Ring champion, Troy Gamble! And this corner, the champion. What? You think just because we're doing this in the ring, Pete, that you think you're a better announcer than me? Because you are not! Your glasses are almost as gay as you are, Peter LeBree. With that being said, weighing in today at the sexiest buck 85 pounds any of you have ever seen. And the sexiest six feet even. I hail from Norfolk, Virginia. I have a bigger dick than every person in this audience. And your once and still champion, champion, Vincent Zarello. Troy Garbaugh, match hasn't started yet, asshole. I'll touch you all I fucking want. I believe you have one slap left. And I am a fair man right now. You ready for this? You ready for this? Get down on your knees. I'm not, I know you're used to being in that position, so you might as well get down on your knees. Get down. You made a bet and you lost. Ah, uh, you are such a little bitch. Uh, last one. Last one. This is a little sad. This is a little sad. Alright. Uh, I'm so glad you just did that. Because it's over now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hold on, dump handle, no. And, guard, and Captain showing what little smarts he has, We're trying to work on that leg, but oh my god, monkey flip, there it is. And now Captain trying to give him a taste, but hold on, Manhattan drop. As the Manhattan. And Sudan, I gotta say, it's been a pleasure working with the Hall of Famer such as yourself tonight. Oh. You're, you're oh. Jason Danvers. And the bones right there. Off the, the ropes coming in, back elbow. There's the spinning back elbow. I pioneered in Troy Suits and Jerry Skull, but he does it well. Oh. by the back elbow. He is a master of elbows of various sorts, and he's got bony freaking elbows in there. And that's why they call him the Big Bones. Snap there, right down, sits, and bones. to the back well, of the head. Well, to your mother, that's another reason they call him Big Bones, but that's another issue. He's planting those bones into his shoulders. Thank you again, Mr. Hall. Excuse me, Mr. Jason Danvers. Up and over. And now, CBC's taking out the leg, and that's a good strategy to all take a Something about the main event of Legacy, it gets your blood boiling if you're in the audience in the ring or at the table, which all three of us are. It is the biggest match of the night for the WAW Championship. Oh, wow! Now, I'm going to tell you, early on in the match, one of the biggest problems with Troy Garbo's offense, and that is the Alabama State. While it is a move that takes everything out of you when you hit that canvas, it is so easy to disable. You take out the legs, you can't support your weight. You take out his back, you can't support your weight. How about if you lock him in the crosswire, what she's doing right here? Oh, but if it gets reversed, probably hurt him. But Troy is definitely fighting at the disadvantage here. Captain, God, Captain working on that leg, being very smart in the weeks running up to do everything to demoralize, to damage, to cause Garbo to not be able to be at peak performance for this match. And it's, this is the, probably the biggest match of his career. And uh-oh. Don't forget, Cap 
Yes, Roy Garver was champion for five minutes of Oculus. Uh, about five minutes. And what happened is Captain Victor Zarello screwed him over. Misses with a big... There it is. One, two... No. Kicks out of the school boy. Catches that tight in the mush. Hey, dude! Yeah. Just not forget. Championship in a six man elimination tag match. CBZ was the first man eliminated. Troy had to go through the four remaining. And then CBZ decided to take his rematch when Troy was completely drained and beaten. Well, the thing is, do you not think Captain had that plan? I'm sure he did. Part of me thinks he got eliminated early on purpose just so he could do exactly that and get an easy title defense and up his into the amazing. corner. It was a smart strategy. It worked effectively. And oh, hold on, go. go. And oh, up oh. you go. Going himself out with Captain Vincent. Yeah, but still hurting that leg. Again, the Garbo's, if Garbo's going to succeed in this, he's got to keep the pressure off that leg. And that means slowing down. And Garbo, unfortunately, doesn't slow down. It, what the... Did Moody Star just rip a brick out of that wall? No. It's a strong bitch. That's I was going to say, holy crow. I don't know what you're talking about. I saw it happen. That's a beautiful pocketbook that matches her eyes perfectly. Who the hell just walks into a brick wall and rips out a brick? Moody Star, evidently. Was she Wolverine? Does she have, like, adamant I, fingernails? I don't know, but it makes me wonder why she didn't, why she lost the victim's title earlier. Oops. Oh, Hang on. Stuff, uh, to rest. Moody Star is a genius. I saw her scraping that top. And now... Oh to that back that was burned last week. Nobody rips a brick out of the wall. That was planted. That's what I just said. She was looking at the wall dragging at it earlier. I do like the purse though. It's a very nice match for the rest. Oh wait. Oh no. Wait a Hold minute. Hold on. Alabama Slamma could be coming in. Oh, no. He buckles right under his own weight. There it is. I said it earlier. You oh, take and capsize. No. Oh. Doesn't get it. Off the rope, bones. bones to the head. Not going to do Captain much damage, oh. but... Captain. Hold on, Garbo, off the ropes, incoming. Oh. Flipping Lariat. And again, I'll give Captain this. Like I said earlier, he's very fast, very tricky. And for all of his ego in one, two... No. All of his ego, he is very dangerous. You cannot turn your back on him. You cannot trust that he is down. You know what? He is a four-time WAW champion. Enough said. Champion is right, and like I said, he got an extra reign just by taking his rematch of the Buckets. Lost the title at Hellbound. Oh no! Oh no! Oh wow! Oh god! No! No! Working the knee on the rope. He has still five. Garbo. Like everyone else. Garbo, very bad disadvantage here. What is he going to be able to do? No, not again. No. Oh come on! saw Staples trying the same maneuver on CBZ, but CBZ to Detroit, the difference being that CBZ did to go through What the hell? Well, you Who can is see, that's a big rock of Tooley outside of the ring, talking it up with Captain Vincent Zarella. I doubt we discussed all the strategy. In the crowd, often is the case, I did actually see Gordon Chain oh. White Senior, as our broad one, I believe, of his Captain. Excuse me. I, I really should. And Captain taking a little water break. Good That's God. Moonshine. It's from Garbo. I hope it's moonshine. Something to fog his head up because unfortunately he has been the dominating force in this match so far. What the heck is uh, Sultan Pete, no less? Well, come on. You can't even handle a microphone. All you gotta do is pass it. That's all it takes. I'm a better announcer than you, Peter LeBrain. How does that make you feel? Get back in the ring, Captain. Oh! I've been waiting my entire career to finally hit the world's greatest suplex. And tonight, it is that time. Oh my god, no. I have a huge problem with people calling the moves before they... Oh my god! And there it is! Let that be a witness. What time is it? Exactly 10 o'clock. That clock is fucking wrong. Look at that stupid clock. 11 o'clock. A 
April 30th, 2011, you were all witness to the greatest two plus of all time. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Now this is unfortunately Captain's weakness. He's a camera whore and a ham. And instead of capitalizing, there it is, see? Reversing the Oh, now there is the world's greatest suplex. One, <laughs> two, three. Why would you give Rocco a live mic? Why would you make Rocco the special guest? Right, yeah. The strategy on Troy's part, asking Rocco to be the special guest referee. Not and now off the second row. No, it doesn't connect, and unfortunately, back on that leg. Right, actually, I heard a great grind. Rocco spent some time with Red Guy earlier this week, going down on the low, down the rules of WWE. He knows how to ref. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that he's unpredictable. He can do anything at any time. I'm not saying that he's not going to be a good ref. He is. Didn't he shoot you one time? But the other half of this is that Rocco is not easy to knock down. He's not like Red Guy, he doesn't have a glass jaw. And if CBZ tries anything, and, and also if Garbo tries anything, it's going to keep law and order. Keep in mind, we can see Moody Star. I don't see JT Lambo. I see this Moody Star. Listen, can you talk a little slower? Because when I'm waiting in line to talk, I feel like I'm going to fucking beer. Sorry. Interesting fact. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. I do recognize those boots. That was my good luck gift to Troy Garbo. Hey, I'm an impartial uh, commentator, but that doesn't mean I can't uh, do something behind the scenes to help out a friend. You aren't impartial. You're about as impartial as me. You hate Captain Vincent Zarello as much as the guy sitting to my right. No, 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 I'll give him credit where credit is due. And where Indeed. Due is that he is the slimiest, smarmiest, most <laughs> underhanded, despicable man in this company today. And speaking of slimy and despicable, I what's Moody doing, doing up, up, doing up there? Moody Star is talking to Rocco and I don't know distracting the ref. On Rocco. Normally that might work. On Rocco, not nope. so much. Now if you had a Reese's, that would work. Yeah, that would work, but that's another matter entirely. Garbo now. He's got the purse with the brick in it. Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my god. Troy Garber went down because he got hit in the leg with a purse? And Moody Star uh, with a brick ass. in it. There was no... I see a purse. That's all I see. Get your eyes checked, Chaz. It didn't take Moody Star too much time in the unemployment line to find a new job. The bad economy not affecting her whatsoever. Well, her Mr. service is extremely valuable. You know what? It's yeah. not a new job. She was always with Captain JT. Even all through the dynasty. Plus, she's got that gig on the corner of Pine and Valley. And Garbo now, that leg, oh god. Six, there's ways to make money. Oh, oh that, god. that's not very nice. I'm sorry. But nice. Uh, Never mind. Troy Garbo getting his knee just completely obliterated after falling victim to a purse. Uh, I'm not even going to bother, but Captain now working on it. Taking down the knee. Trying to, trying to, gr trying to keep him damaged. Oh my god. Twisting the Troy Garber was not a one-trick pony. I mean, he is a former team champion, a former WAW champion. Oh, no. Oh, no. And now oh, he's no. be getting locked right into the and cross wire. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Garbo's got nothing left. He can't do it. Garbo. That knee is all messed up. There is no place to go. What can he do? And hold on. Rolls him up. Two, no, almost. The crosswire locked in. Right back in the fire. Oh my God. Of the crosswire. And Guts gets the ropes. He has the ropes, but the tap up means nothing with the ropes. You should be 
CDZ not paying enough attention to the referee here. No, he's not. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. That. I wouldn't just do any of that. And hold on. Garbo now. Whoa, very close. Wait a minute, trying to go for the capsize. Hold on. God! And one, two, three. No! That was a slow count by Rocco. What does he have left? What does Garbo that was have slow, left? Rocco. That was slow. One, two, two no. I know he has problems with counting, Mr. Danvers. But come on, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's it, Chaz. Keep insulting his friend. He already got one beat down tonight. I'd love to see you get another one. I will confess that Rocco does have some issues with numbers, but he's doing a fine job in the ring here tonight. You don't want to touch Rocco. Uh, yeah. Or turn your back on Garbo. Captain. Oh, oh. Chicken wing. Chicken wing locked in. Now that's something taking out Garbo's legs will not affect. And that is one effective submission. If he can just get it locked on. Oh, Captain, unfortunately, got a little bit more mobility, well, trying to get to... Out of the chicken wing, but he, there it is. He got the elbow locked in. I'm sorry. CDZ sliminess coming in handy again. Fading out. He's like an eel, but the fact is, he's got... Troy Garbo hasn't whipped out the chicken wing since he's, well, forever ago. He's not there to tap out. He's going to have to the arm and look for a technical lock the question is, is he just going captain? Is and captain one. Is going for Garbo win? That's what he's good at. No, this is two. two. This boy, it could it could right be it done? And no. Oh. Oh. Dangerously oh. close though. And captain fighting back. And oh, what whoa, the? Captain revert. Wow. Flip up one. And two. two. No. Again with the slow count by Finn and Rocco. Jason, don't worry. His eyes are terrible. Just un, just ignore him. And hold on. Now, Captain, going for the capsize again, gets it reversed. Capsize up. Alabama. Oh, hold on. Can he, can he do it? it? He can. can he do it? Oh, and here it is. Slam. One, two, three. Slinking away like the sleaze she is. What a night! What a main event! Roy Garbo finally again at the top of the mountain and left hand around that last ring and merging into the WWE. champion, ladies and gentlemen. What a celebration this will be. Hopefully Garbo's got some of that moonshine to spread around. And look at this. One lucky fan gets to touch the belt. <laughs> A man of our people. What? 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 What?
music. Oh, God. Someone just had an idea. Oh, no. You like to call for special guest rep, don't you, Troy Gapo? God damn it. If my whole body doesn't ache right now, but guess what? I have a little surprise. It's called a rematch, and it's called my goddamn stipulation. So go ahead, music man. It's my music because I have my own special guest rap. D to the I to the R to the T to the motherfucking Y. Dirty dealer. What? What? Can no. you smell genius? I smell something, and it don't smell like genius. You gotta be kidding me. No, not again. How about this, baby? Let me see. Tap two main events. You get more than my money's worth. No, I think he just told you to go home. I take it back. It's not unbelievable, Jason. This is how Captain works. Looks like Rocco and Dealer having a little discussion over who's the official in this match. Oh! Dirty throw! Oh my dirty god! Rocco. <laughs> this match just gets better and better. Oh my god. Did he just say no DQs, false count anyway? I believe he did, Chad Epic! Thank you, I Captain. I love you, Captain. You're the man. Okay. And again, five-time WAW champion. Again, I can't believe this is happening again. Jason, you got anything? You got anything you can do to stop this? There's nothing I can do. It's totally legal. Oh, my That's God. That's the thing that pisses me off the most. It's 100% legal. Oh, my God. CBZ won the championship at LOTR. You can't have a rematch for a rematch, but that's not what this is. No, no, it's not. It's good to have someone who knows the rules. He hasn't lost the title on this ring. He has a title for a rematch. It's a name of stipulations. And because Dirty Dealer is the president, there is no clear and present handicap. Then somebody get the board of directors on the line. This is this is ridiculous. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Oh my god. Captain Vince Zarella working on the knee of Troy Garbo, our champion. Well, I'd say at least this time Troy doesn't have to go through four other guys first, but he does have the oh. fact in a pretty impartial, I mean, a, a rather partial uh, uh, referee. Well, partial? Let's back to Exodus then. Oh my god. This is exactly, yeah, it's a combination of what happened in Apocalypse and Exodus. Thank you. Exodus, Dirty Dealer decided he wanted to. Oh god, no. Spinning toe hold. Spinning toe hold. Still working the left leg. He's not going to beat him. He's going to cripple him. He keeps this up. Come on, Garbo. Hey, Garbo, though, with offense. But no, Captain, right back to the leg. Garbo's exhausted. He's been beating. That leg is probably throbbing right now. The fact is, is you know what? Troy Garbo wants to be a champion. Test his heart. Test his metal right here. You want to be a champion? Dig down deep, Troy Garbo, and, and pull a win out of your ass. And it looks like he's... Lion Puck! Oh, Lion Puck! Oh Back my break. god. Our hearts. Oh, and, and hold, hold on. Back slide. Back slide. Down he goes. One. Oh, well, wait a minute. Well, no, Troy Garbo. He, he, oh. Captain kicked out. What are you talking about? Uh, and hold on. 
Going for the baseball slide, doesn't get it. Oh, back break two. Now remember this right here, no disqualification. Oh, wait a minute, that was a purse. The brick yeah, in the purse. purse. I don't remember anything like a brick. You don't remember anything, period, Chaz. Hold on. It's no DQ, false uh, Oh, there was a brick in that. You guys were right. Uh, the brick is broken, so you can wonder how hard he's been hit with that brick. That sucks. Oh, look, he's putting it back. That's nice. Man. Well, yeah, I should know. But, uh, and hold on, what's Garbo up to? Isn't that uh, happened on our last building? The fact is, Troy Garbo is barely out. This is no, no DQ falls is Troy's Troy's done. Garbo fighting to his feet. That leg is probably broken or sprained or whatever. Oh! And not getting any better thanks to Captain. Well, that was a brick to the knee. That, that, that's what that was. Oh, my God. Oh, Garbo. Oh, this is ridiculous. He tapped. He tapped. Two. Come on, dealer, wake up. That was a tap. The fact is, Tori Garbo is a two-time WAW champion, and he wants to prove himself as a champion. Oh, wait a minute. Ready for the crowd to pop? A slingshot. Oh, God. I don't think being a two-time champion is going to be much to Troy if it totals ten minutes. I do hey, not hey, suck, hey, It's still being champion. Nobody counts that rate. Nobody cares about this champion for five minutes. And now Captain choking out Garbo. God, the heel of his foot beating on him. Look, I never called myself one of the greatest champions of all time. You know what? Troy doesn't either. Troy knows what it means to have been the champion for five minutes. No matter how much he earned it, he never had the opportunity to defend it. And that means everything. Well, Troy Garbo's bleeding. Oh, my God. Garbo. You want to be known as one of the greats. And if he's robbed twice, Troy Garbo. Oh, come on. be one of the great WAW champions. He's got to pull down deep and pull out a victory. The fact is, he's fighting a former four-time WAW champion. With a crooked ref and a manager helping him out. Come on, Chaz. Garbo's in. This, that deck, deck is sacked so far against him. Come on, Garbo. God. And a lot of hardware on the Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Trash can lips. Oh, no. And you will die in a trash can. Oh! Oh, my God! In the words of the great dirty dealer, damn! The guy eardrums just got blown out through the crack from that one. Wait. And Holy, uh, wait a second. Look under the the Hold on a second. What is? What it's is that it's that is nachos. <laughs> What's nachos? <laughs> Fighting with Captain for the chair, evidently. But <laughs> hold on a second here. Oh, this is he's not oh, even Peter LeBrie. There it is. Evidently had enough of Captain stealing his mic. And stepping on his lines, involved in the main event. he removed a foreign object before the he captain attacks somebody who is not in this match. That's what he did. Oh! Tony Dillo just got hit by Nachos. Nachos certainly didn't deserve to get brained. He wasn't doing anything. Nachos got stun shot. <laughs> it's Ninja Nachos. Oh and Garbo hobbling. I don't know what's holding him Talk up. about a handicap? And you got friggin' Peter LeBrie working at Captain Vincent's room. And hold oh, on, no. Alabama! Out of nowhere, coming in! And okay. Garbo, come on! Oh, come on, come on! Come on! Make the count! Make the count! Who is this is bogus, he has no chance to win. He wanted to know about the lock uh oh. He just put his hand. And hold on! Oh, Troy Garbo's going! Buckling under him. And wait, oh. but no, he fights up! He He's up! Him. He's got him! Can he get it? Oh, 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 slam oh, oh, oh. it! Slam it! Slam it! But there's no official now! There's no official! Alabama slammed in the middle of the ring. There is no referee in this contest. Why would you attack an official like that? That's uncalled for. Unacceptable. Oh, no. Capsize. Capsize. Oh, there's my no God. Official. Hold on. And one, two. Oh, no, he kicked out. He kicked out somehow, some way. Rudy Star is getting beat up by Nachos. We don't care about that. What we care about is Garbo fighting back. Dirty Dealer 
is out, and Troy Garbo oh. is out, and Captain's Carter. And Red is Guy. Out. It's Red Guy. Still damaged from the vicious assault by F.O. Oh no! It could be too little, too late. They got a senior official in here. Now this is a right official, and we got a cross wire being locked in. Oh no! If he can't get out of that, it's over. There's nothing left on that left leg. Oh, Captain getting slapped. Falls right dead. Oh my God! The chicken wing. Chicken wing. He's locked in. He's locked in. If he taps. This is what I was talking about. You dig down deep if you want to win. You dig down. And he taps. He taps. You, I want to ask you, Jason and Chaz, do we know any other title holder who has done that? There's been a uh, uh, yes, actually. Oh. Uh, there's been a few. However, showing a little bit of respect. 